Hey peeps, part two of the photo transfer. I have my warm water and my sponge. We're going to start with the board that we used this one on. This is 24 weight paper. The lady could have gone as thin as 20 weight. So when you go to have your laser copies, you can actually ask them for the thinnest paper they have. Um, I'm not sure if they allow you to bring in your own paper. You just kind of want to kind of saturate. It's going to kind of saturate my wood there, but that'll be okay being it's just a demo. Um, but I would check with your individual print shops to see what they allow. That way then you can be sure to get exactly what you want. You just want to, some, I've watched a lot of videos on this, um, some um, just get the sponge wet and let it sit on the paper. I've even seen one that they did this at the sink and let water run over it. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. But I suppose depending on what you're transferring on to, I mean, if you're trying glass or something, that wouldn't be so bad. But see how the image is coming through? This is where I had smeared some of the transfer medium yesterday, if you remember. So that spot might be a little more difficult to get off. But I'll rub it a little bit. But that's, you, that's all you do. You get it saturated like that. And then you just start rubbing. And I've seen where they just... Some just take their fingers and rub. See how well that works? And I'm applying barely any pressure and see how that how that works. But you want to make sure you keep it moist. It doesn't need to be completely saturated or anything. And it was pretty neat, the lady that did these uh, copies for me, she actually knew what I was talking about. She's like, yeah, we've been having a lot of people coming in wanting to try this. I should have told her about the group, maybe next time. I see her, I'll tell her. So then she can see what, what she helped with. But it works better if you go in a circular motion. It's not really the quickest process either, but that's okay. Things that take a little longer are usually more, uh, usually more satisfied with the results than the quick projects. I was thinking about um, picking up my own laser printer. Holy moly, those things. You can get a cheap one, but I've been, um, been told that, you know, as far as printing photos, they don't really do so well. The cheaper ones are more for documents and things like that. Um, I found one that's like 500 bucks and the cost of the toner and stuff, I was like, hmm, I don't do photo transfer enough to justify that price. But I suppose if I did it on a regular basis, it would be justified. But so I ended up getting a new inkjet because my other one crapped out on me. And I'm still going to try doing photo transfer with it just to see. 
just so you guys know that there might be another option. It's always good to have options. Get the crumblies off. See it's still, still coming off. Up. But now you know what a butterfly spirit looks like. <laughs> I thought she was pretty cute. But I'm going to let this one set. We'll get the rest of the crumblies off later. Push that off to the side. Now this one is the one with um, Glass Mod Podge. And I think I've seen some where they even use the satin formula. Um, you can use the matte formula, of course, too. Um, and there's also, um, you can use Liquitex mediums. I think they have like two or three different ones that you can use for photo transfer. There's the Deco Art brand. Uh, what do they call theirs? Decoupage something. I don't know. I'm not really into Deco Art yet. Um, so I'm not really too familiar with their products. Used to use their paint, but I haven't used anything else. And if you're wondering why I'm taking so many pauses, I uh, have a little cold this week, and I don't want to be coughing in you guys' ears. Because <laughs> nobody likes to watch a video with coughing going on. one's taking a little bit longer to saturate. And two, I learned from doing a project a while ago with this. You really want to cut your image um, pretty close to the exact size of what you're putting it on because it's just that much easier to work with. Then you're not rubbing endlessly on something that's not important to the project. But this one will be neat. Um, even though there wasn't a ton of wood grain on this piece of wood, um, we should still be able to see it come through on the colors. And that's kind of the look why a lot of people like to use um, a clear medium for their photo transfer instead of the white photo transfer medium because they do want those wood grains coming through. And some even use this um, green scrubby part on it. You can use whatever you want, um, whatever kind of sponge you want. I've seen people using loofah sponges, loofah, whatever. Um, sea sponges, um, even seen one using makeup sponges, which that one didn't seem to work very well, I think, because it's too smooth. It didn't really have any texture, but you want, you know, texture like that on there um, because if you're using that, it just gives that little extra scrubbing power. But we're just going to start even though some of the spots aren't 
cooperating. And again, just a light pressure. And see this, how I didn't cut that like that? That could potentially, if I don't do that, um, it could tear and go up. But being that I noticed that, I'll be more careful with it. And I know with all the videos that I've watched on this and all the articles that I've read, um, you can end up with fuzzies left on it, um, but when it's all said and done, you'll go over it either with your decoupage glue or a sealer, like polyacrylic or something, urethane. And I always recommend, doesn't matter what brand you use for your sealers, just make sure it's one that says non-yellowing because a lot of urethanes will yellow. Um, like with this, with the coloring that's on there. Um, if it yellowed a little bit, it wouldn't really matter because I think it would just add kind of a neat aging look to it. But the other, like with the Butterfly Spirit, that probably wouldn't look so good. It kind of looked like a, for surely a dead butterfly. <laughs> And we don't like dead butterflies around here. And I think that's one of those spots that I had the streak of podge on the outside. And that I had to scrub a little harder on. I don't know if any of you are reading this message that I'm working on, but I thought it was perfect for the group being starting a new journey and all of you coming on this journey with me. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been kind of a whirlwind, but uh, it's been such a blessing to start my own thing and do the kind of things that I want to do and not have to worry about a lot of other things. But I was like, I want to do a project and show you guys that you all mean something to me and I appreciate you being on the journey with me. That one cleaned up really nice. So far I think I'm liking the glass Mod Podge better. See how well that cleaned up? And it's going to look a little different when it's dry. But it shouldn't change too much. But that came out really nice. So, let's go on to the final project which is, that's the new formula that just came out not too long ago. And my first time using it, so. It was a really nice formula. It's um, not as thick as the original photo transfer, and it's actually a little bit thinner than um, Mod Podge. So. Pretty excited to see how it turns out. And here while we're waiting for that to soak through, I'll show you this, how it's all dry, but I'll have to go over it one more time, because as you can see that it's kind of fuzzy around it. But the cool thing is too, once I go over it one more time, because if you, if you find a spot where you're kind of rubbing hard, 
just stop and let it dry and then go over it again um, real lightly and if you don't get it all off it's really not a big deal because when you seal when you go over it with a sealer it will <clears throat> that sealer will cause that um, fuzziness to kind of clear up is what I've seen on other projects so I'll go over that one one more time later and then I'll be sure to post a picture for you with the video that so you can see how it went with the sealer on it. <clears throat> and I should probably explain the difference um, between the two photo transfer mediums versus Mod Podge. Um, the actual photo transfer medium, this one here, you can do photo transfer on fabrics. Um, I know a lot of people have done pillows and stuff. Um, it's washable uh, after it's cure time, which I think is a few days. You don't want to use it on something that you're going to wash all the time. But like a throw pillow that you have on your couch that you wash, you know, every so often works perfect for that. All right. I'm going to try the green scrubbies to see if I like that or not. Uh, now, we'll go with the regular side. <laughs> but yep, just gentle circles. You don't have to push too hard. kind of neat seeing it coming clear. And I didn't completely squeeze out my sponge either. Um, so it is kind of, you know, still pretty moist. But I really like how the colors are popping on this. And see, because I had that white blank there, I might have to scrub a little harder right here, just so that there isn't that line. Um, I totally space that part out but your best bet so you don't have lines like with this I should have cut and trimmed around there but we'll see it should still be okay and I don't know about you guys um, when you do trials like this if I am not happy with a project but it still looks pretty cool, but it's just not something I want to keep. I usually um, put them in the donation box at the thrift store. Because I know some people, they just like weird, interesting stuff. And I get quite a few people that like my weird stuff. So it's kind of neat to just give it away. Kind of feels good. Next time, I'm definitely going to ask her to do the 20 weight paper. 
getting all the paper balls off there. Now I'm going to wring out my sponge completely, wipe it better. how it is. See this one's clouding up a little bit but when I go over it when it's completely dry with the poly it'll be better. And there's that one still. So yeah if you guys have any questions, comments, whatnot, let me know. I'll answer them the best of my ability. Have a great day. Be kind to each other.